It's now time for the Sand Dollar Home Team Monthly Market Update. All right. We are, gosh, in September. Oh, my this Lord. the ninth month already, people. Oh We're my. almost through summer. All right. We guarantee you the cooler weather is coming. Oh, yes. It's coming. At least that's, that's the only made. thing. That's the only thing we can guarantee. That's how we're hope. <laughs> All right, let's dive in in some good information. Oh man, let's look at some numbers here. Luz, what's the what's the first uh, one? The median listing price. All right, so for the month of August 2023, the median price was 399.900. Now in July 2023 was the same. Month and over month, no change. No change. Now last year, in August 2022, was 424,950. Oh, we have to remember that was right before the uh, infamous Ian arrived. So Ooh. that's that can explain a little bit of the change, but not everything. Yep. So the median sale price is actually in August of this year, 391,000, not far off from the asking prices. In, in July though, 405, how did that happen? The average, the median sale price is higher than the median list price. Interesting. But a year ago, August 2022, the median list price was only 382,000. That's quite different, isn't it? That is different. So we had more bidding wars going on last year. That's why the sale price last year, that the median sale price was 425, but the median list price was only 382. Now this year, it's 399 and 391. Hmm. Wow. Well, yeah. That's uh, different. Yeah. So the something that I can understand, and and I I will think that is 100% the ratio because we don't know how many price deductions right. were. So I will say it was 100% in all of the three of them. So I will say that we don't have to control on that one because right. we don't know we don't know exactly how many um, price reductions were. Right, this so. is for the closed price to list price ratio. It's at 100%, so, so what about we're still the getting. How many? Yeah, so number of listings, wow, that's going up. We have 663 residential listings in our sample area that we keep track of in August of this year, and last month we had 669. So really close to the same thing. Um, but a year ago, August 2022, we only had 407 listings. These are residential listings in our area. And that goes along with the number of sales, Luz. Yeah, well, the number of sales is uh, the, the amount of houses that close. So in last month, only 141 closed. Then the month before in July, only 117. Yeah. And then last year, we have 159. Yeah, so that hasn't changed all that much, but sure the inventory has made a difference because the days on market is now 50 days on market is the average. Last month it was 54, but a year ago it was only 25 days on market. So we've almost, we've really essentially doubled our Double. days on market. So if you have your house on the market right now and it's not flying off the shelf, let's not panic. But we need to keep an eye on price. We need to keep an eye on what's selling. So the months of inventory goes right kind of along with that too. Do you want me to talk about that? Yes, please. Okay. She does explain it better. So you remember how the months of inventory works. If nothing new came on the market, how long would it take us to sell everything that we have on the market? And we want that to, for a seller's market, you want it to be below six. So right now we're at five. So we're right kind of balancing on a balanced market here. In July, it actually was six months of inventory. But a year ago, it was only three months of inventory. So we're seeing the change here. Our market is different, definitely different than last year. And we're gonna keep you updated every month on what's going on. And if you have questions higher than that, you know you're gonna be able to reach us. But we have a couple more things we need to talk about. Yes, 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 yes. Mm -hmm. So we did have Liver Day Parade. Oh, it was so fun. We had a whole crew. And hopefully some of you saw our big um, boat that we made. We had a pirate ship and we were all decked out in our pirate gear. And what did we do? 
We win! We won! We won! We won! We won! We won! We yeah. won. It was awesome. We got the best entry for a local business. So, you know, that's us. We are local. We're here in Englewood. We're here to stay. So, keep us in mind for all of your friends and family who might want to move here or if you know somebody who needs to buy or sell. All right. Speaking of that, we have a drawing now for the Sand Dollar Rewards Club for the referrals that you all have given us. So if you want to be here in this, in this hat, you just there, only need to give us a call with the name of a person that is even thinking about any question about real estate. You call us, you give us that person, your name isn't here. Guess who it is? Ah, oh, Dave and Susie Shell. Oh, thank you so much. We're about to get uh, the other Susan's house on the market very soon here. Yes. It's been a lot of fun getting ready with her. It's been great. Yes, that's going to be a great little listing. And so how are they going to get a hold of us, Luz, if they right. need more information? So you need to call our office if you, you want to give us an, an information. Please, please, please call the office. What is the you number? You can reach us at 941-681-3420, or you know how to get loose. You have a buyer, you are a buyer. Please call me directly. My cell phone number is 813-546-6717. Thanks for joining us, and we'll talk to you soon.